my former district, uh, we had a new assessment initiative and we had to give a pretest and a post test. So we sat in a meeting and we were told, all right, today you are going to write pretests and post tests for second through fifth grade. There will be 10 questions, there will be ABC, multiple choice, you have a half day to write them, we'll implement them in the fall, go. And we were all just like, you gotta be kidding me, right? We have to do a multiple choice test in art and how do, we don't, we're not test writers, we're not a, like Iowa test of basic skills, where are you, you know, we need your help. And so then some brilliant person said, if you don't know what to put for C, just put can't tell. So every single second grader's like, can't tell, can't tell, can't tell, can't tell. It was not good data, let's just put it that way. And it was something, it was a start. So we walk in the first day of art, students walk in, it's the little second graders. And as you know, think about it in the back of your head, Iowa Test of Basic Skills starts at third grade in Iowa. And we hand out a Scantron sheet with 100 bubbles, and we say, this is, we're, you're going to take a 10 question assessment in art. And these little second graders are like, we don't know, I mean, they never filled out a bubble sheet. So guess who taught the second graders how to fill out a bubble sheet? the art department. And it just felt so wrong. I felt so, I kind of felt violated because it was just like, <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. And it took, they just wanted to make art. They wanted to come in their precious little faces and just create something. And here on the first day of art, we squelched their dreams with a bubble test. And so we did it, we lived through it, and it was okay, but what it did is it sparked a little motivation with our group to say, okay, assessment, we get it, we have to do it. However, is there a better way? Is there a better assessment? Is there more performance based? How can we really assess what our students know and are able to do? Because the problem with this is you answer a question on symmetry, you do art projects with symmetry, answer a question on symmetry, it's in the wrong, they're not staying in the same level of cognitive demand. You're asking for a recall question, then you're doing a higher order thinking creative based project, then you're assessing recall. You're not assessing the creative based outcome. And when you do an assessment that stays in the wrong cognitive demand and you pull that through, you're gonna have skewed results because your high flyers are gonna get this because they know their vocabulary and that's just one aspect of what we do. But your students who are, um, knew their art concepts didn't get a chance to show that. Do you see where I'm going with it? And so we did a bunch of research. Research, research, research to come up with a better art assessment. And so what I did, let's see, um, I'll go back one here. What I did was I created this 75 page PDF of like better other art assessments around the country, what you, know, what you could see, an example of a performance base, how it could be scored. We came up with a proactive plan of implementation. We'd like to do this and here's the timeline and we'd like to recommend this and we'd like to start here. And I had a meeting with all the higher ups in the district. Here I am sit with my 75 PDF. Well, I emailed it to them all ahead of time and it crashed their computers before the meeting. And so I made, I made an impact. I said, they, they were like, okay, what's this? By the end of the thing, they were just like flipping through it. They're busy, you know, Administ a lot of administration, I'm sorry, but they have so many reading and math initiatives coming down on them right now and so many different things they have. We're the last on their list. We're the last of their worries mostly, unfortunately, but we also have to be complying in some of these initiatives. So they just said, okay, Jessica, whatever, sounds good. Let us know how it goes, try it out in a year. I was like, that was easy. But would it have been necessarily easy if I wasn't prepared? And I'm gonna talk about how to become prepared for meetings such as that later in the, in the conversation. Mm -hmm.